What is going on guys? This is Ben here, bringing another Brawl Stars video. Today, it is going to be all about Gene. We're going to be doing it all. We're going to be pushing him to 500 trophies. We're going to talk about the game modes and everything that he is best on. We're going to be talking about how to play him. So it's basically going to be a how-to video and a 500 trophy push all in one here. So, got a lot of things to cover. Definitely like you guys are excited. Uh, I'm excited to cover Gene here. He's, he's a really, really fun brawler to play. I a poll earlier today to see what you guys kind of think of after a few days with him, maybe playing against him, if you unlocked him playing with him, and I asked if he needed a nerf, a buff, or if you thought it was balanced, and almost 50% of you say that he is balanced, which I agree. Um, some of you think he needs a buff, which I agree as well. Like, I don't know, I feel like he's, it's better that he's, Gene is released like this, where he, he's, some people think he's underpowered, most, majority of people think he's balanced, but not really many people think he's overpowered, which is really, really good, because when Leon first got released, it was chaotic. He was a monster. He was just everywhere, and he was so, so good. So it's nice to see Gene is good, but he's not, like, devastatingly overpowered. So basically, we're going to talk about Gene in the beginning here, how to play him, everything, all the things you need to know in the beginning. Well, I'm just going to have Gene gameplay in the background. I'm a little bit short on time, so I can't go over each specific clip um, and get that in there where I talk about it, so I apologize for that part. But then at the end, we're going to be pushing him to 500 trophies. So... First off, at ma keep in mind, every stat that I go over, it's going to be assuming that you have them at, like, max level or similar levels around you. Like, so it doesn't matter. Say it's a Gene at level 1 and a Gene facing another level 1 brawler or Gene at level 5 facing another level 5 brawler or Gene max level facing level another max level. It's just kind of easier to understand. So basically, Gene at max level has 5,040 HP. It's the same as Shelly and it's the same as both. His attack does 1400 damage when you land it so now if you don't land that attack it actually bursts off and kind of sprays and it's kind of varies how much damage they do depending on how much you hit so he's got a really long range though it kind of tricks the eye when you first attack and you see how the the white outline of his normal range it's a lot longer like that it's that's just how far it'll go and then it'll like explode and then it'll burst off but his main attack does 1400 if you hit all three shots that is going to be 4200 damage keep in mind any similar level brawlers you're going to three shot every single one of these you're going to three shot a colt a brock a dynamite a barley a rico a piper spike and crow that is a lot of brawlers he will take care of in three shots, which is amazing. Now, not like the bounce shots, it's like if you actually directly hit them. Now, there is four other brawlers as well that he almost takes care of, like after three shots, he'll have a little bit of health, and that is Leon, Tara, Penny, and Jesse. This is something you really, really need to remember of like the brawlers that you will three shot because it's really helpful in Bounty and Showdown to know which brawlers you can go in on and like kind of bully, and then which ones you kind of need to avoid, so. Keep that in mind. So this kind of has become the norm with like pretty much a lot of brawlers is up close. You definitely want to use the auto aim because you don't want to, you can't, really can't afford to miss with Gene because he reloads so slow, but he does a decent amount of damage to compensate for that. But yeah, use uh, auto aim up close because you don't want to miss those shots and you want to get them off as fast as you can. And then I would say at mid range to long range, you definitely just want to manual aim. If brawlers are a little bit too far of range away from you, it's fine just chipping them down, trying to get your super. So with Gene though, don't be afraid to hold your ground because if you just land a couple of those shots, like on a Shelly or a Bull or even a Daryl, it's gonna really, really destroy their HP. And a lot of times they're just gonna back off because they know like, holy crap, this Gene is doing so much damage. So if you can land your shots, man, it's, it's really, really devastating. But you have to be very careful when you shoot. Like you don't just wanna just spam all three shots and then just, be left with nothing because he reloads so slow so his super is a very good super but it is hard to land it's that drag one little change i would love for him is like if he actually reloaded this or he charged his super a little bit faster or it does a little bit more damage because it doesn't do a whole lot of damage right now but i would say majority of the times when you want to use this is one when you have all three of your main attacks we we're just talking about it uh, another thing is too, you don't really want to drag shotgun brawlers or the tank brawlers. This includes like Shelly, Bull, Primo and all them because they're just going to melt you up close. Now, if they're a little bit weak and you know you can take care of them and you have a enough shots to do it, then you can. But majority of the time, you just want to drag the brawlers you know you can take care of or your teammates can take care of. Don't really drag shotgun brawlers or the tanks. 
like drag the high profile brawlers which are going to be like the high um what is it like the high bounties in bounties or like the high gem carriers in gem grab or just drag a weak brawler too because that's very very helpful but a lot of times too do not be afraid to use your super to have to land that finishing blow kind of what i was talking with earlier how you won't really kill the leon the taro the jesse and the penny and all them with three shots you will, however, if you have your super, three shot them and then immediately after use your super. It'll like just give them enough damage to take care of them. So it's low damage, but a lot of times it's like a perfect finisher. Like even if it's, I would say it's worth it. A lot of times in showdown, I was finding myself have to use that to finish them off, not necessarily use it for the drag. So that is a very key point right there. Use it as a finisher. So get off those three man attacks. And if there's still a sliver of health left on them, use that super, even if it's at close range. So one last very important thing about this super too is it can cancel all their brawler supers. The most notable one is like Frank when he's winding up to do his his stun. Uh, if you drag him in time and it moves that Frank at all, it's gonna cancel it out. So a lot of times in showdown, this happens. Now you can also like this is kind of cool. If like Daryl is rolling or the bowl is charging across the map, you can actually grab them. This would only ever happen if you had a Gene on your team, but say a Gene, well, I guess this could happen in, in Showdown too. Say you see a Brawler getting dragged by Gene, you can actually grab the Brawler that's being dragged and drag them to you. I don't know if it's worth it, but you can do it. I might take some flack for this, but my favorite, like this isn't my personal opinion here. My favorite game mode for sure is Bounty with him. Uh, I just love being able to drag like, I don't, the reason why I guess, it's because there's so many Pipers, Brocks, um, sometimes you see the Crows or Enricos and everything. And Gene just destroys them all. Like, I absolutely love it. Especially on the map right now, it's not it's not Bonebox, it's similar to Bonebox. Uh, I don't know exactly, but the map that's out right now that you're going to see later, basically has the, the grass lanes on the side. It's so good. Like, you can just three-shot the Brocks all day on it, and you can dodge their shots, three-shot Ricos. it's so good. So I really love them in Bounty because it really caters to his strengths about being able to like drag those lower HP brawlers and you just take care of them instantly. And even so, like you can just be a monster with it. Um, he is also very good in gem grab. Those are like the two which are his game modes, which he's very, very good in. Some people are trying him as that gem carrier brawler. I don't really like that. Um, I like him more as like a laner, like either left side or right side, and then just kind of be annoying. And once you get your super, the enemy gem carrier has to be like it has to be so scared of you at all times because otherwise you can just drag them and take care of them um and plus it's kind of similar where he does so much damage up close it's really really nice so bounty and gem grab i personally just like them a lot more on bounty that's where i did the majority of my trophy pushing at the higher trophies and then showdown he is very good in duo showdown and he is very good in showdown as well so these are the three main game modes i would stick to brawl ball i'm gonna be totally honest here I haven't played him in Brawl Ball, so I don't really know. Um, I haven't heard too much about him because we really haven't had any Brawl Ball maps um, since it came out. I think it was one, but to be completely honest, ever since this update, I really don't like the new Brawl Ball. I just maybe haven't played it too much. It's taking me time, but for now, I've kind of stayed away from Brawl Ball, so I don't have any opinion on it. Um, and then Heist, I'd say no. I mean, it can work. Any Brawler can work in any game mode, but I wouldn't recommend him. Um, Heist, I would just say no. All right, guys, as you can see, we have Gene currently at 493. This is gonna be the push up. I'm doing it kind of backwards. I'm getting him to 500, but at the beginning of this video, you already probably saw him at 500, but this is the push. I just wanted to do it kind of different where I give a bunch of good tips and everything. So for those of you that maybe are just unlocking him or wanna know maybe how to counter him and whatnot, leave that in the beginning of the video. So let me know if you guys like this style for the new brawlers. And then once I get him to 500, show the push after because I feel like it's hard to give tips on a brawler until you've thoroughly played him a lot and got him up at high trophies and started face -legging, like brawlers around their level if they're at max level and everything. So my initial thoughts are Gene's pretty balanced. Um, he can be very good, but he also can be very bad. So that's, that's kind of what you want. If you miss his super, you're kind of in a tough spot. Now we are going into Bounty. Bounty is definitely, especially on this map, is one of my favorite modes for him. Um, and I've literally pushed him up from like 400 something all the way up to here in a couple of... I don't know and then i guess sh playing showdown with him too it really gave me an idea of what brawlers i can 1v1 good with and one like what brawlers kind of like you, you struggle with so i probably already talked about which brawlers you can three shot with his main attack uh, if they're on the same level or you're a higher level and everything so 
Hopefully you are excited. And we got this Piper trapped. There we go. So we are down a little bit though. And I have to be careful because Piper is respawning. But now she got a little too close because now you can just go in and auto aim. So with Gene, if you can three shot a brawler like that, that's what you got to do. Now I don't know how it's going on in the spawn. There's the Daryl and everything. We're going to try and pick... <laughs> We're just picking on the Piper right now. Oh my gosh. And they picked up the Daryl and they got some other kills. Sweet. So the Piper is really, really feeding right now, and I already got my next super, so we're gonna try and maybe make her make some plays that she doesn't want to make. And we're picking this up really, really good here. I'm actually gonna drag the Daryl back, and there we go. So you can see, if you can con play control with Gene. Okay, now we got a, a Leon uh, we can take care of. See, this is crazy. All these other games around this trophy range have not been this dominant. As soon as I turn on the camera, you guys are good luck. All right, and then plus he has the long range to get the kills. It's really, really nasty. So I want to get another... Oh, I missed it. But yeah, if you can hit the drags, you're good. Now I have a huge bounty. Uh, I, just can, I just need to be that brawler that gets that annoying chip now. Oh, I missed. <laughs> thank, God, thank God I got him there. He could have killed me and got a huge bounty. So this one is over now. We are one match away. But yeah, that Piper... Because usually in bounty, whoever gets the lead can kind of dictate the pace. Like, are you going to play a... Kind of like camping it out more. Probably Leon over there. Um, and the Piper just kind of chilling by us. Made it really... Them always had to be aggressive even though it was around the same thing. So Or the same trophy. So that was a very good first match here. Come on, let's get it. But yeah, that match was... Usually it doesn't go that great. Now this comp is actually really annoying. It's the double heal comp. And the Daryl is just really, really annoying. So I have a Poco. If you can land that main attack, you see how much damage it does? Alright, there we go. Sweet, picked it up for me. And now I gotta help out the, the lovely Brock. There we go. Alright, now I'm gonna heal him up with my star power. I, I still don't think his star power is that great. I think that needs a little bit of a work. So we gotta help Sab. The, the one downside to their comp is like, it's very annoying if they can kind of herd you guys into your spawn. Like this. But... We definitely outrange them a lot, and if we keep this poke damage up, it's not that scary. But that, you see that heal with Daryl? That's their main play right there, and you can see how devastating that is because Poco heal along with the turret, and they just killed us all. So, gonna be tough to deal with this. Poco already has that next super. They're just waiting for the Daryl super to go in. Sadly, I missed mine, so... And then the Pam just kind of like kind of like just keeps keeps that chip going so we can't heal up so you can see they they have their their plan executed perfectly right now this is how they want to play it and it's working out very very good so dragging the poco in i can't take him out but hey we're getting closer trying to heal up my best because we gotta we gotta we got some work to do here now, Poco only has the two bounty, so it's not going to do anything really for us. So we need that Daryl, wherever he's at. So that's their play. So we're still four down. Okay, we need that Daryl. He definitely ran away for sure. See? How annoying that comp is. Guys, it has been so back and forth. I cut out a ton of the matches, but one funny instance was we I was at 493 trophies. And then we are about to win. And with like three... Chloe! If you guys didn't hear that, I think Chloe just like rammed the door. Holy crap. But yeah, basically, we won with, and then my iPad died with like five seconds left. So like a bot took over. And I can kill this guy. Wow, how did he get those shots off and still kill me? Frustrating, for sure. But I don't even remember what I was saying now. Yeah, my iPad died, so I didn't gain the trophy. Because if you if you don't finish the match, you don't get the trophies. Now, if you lose, you still don't get the trophies. So, okay, we, we have the nice lead here. Just in case you wanted to try and get that follow-up shot, I had the drag ready. <laughs> the penny got destroyed by that mortar. Oh god, but yeah, like 
Chloe was just because she was barking, so I threw her in here. Not sure why she like tried to ram the door. I'm not doing nothing. She probably hears the other dogs. That's why. All right. Well, we have forty some seconds left, so this this is a high kill match. Dude, this is kind of crazy. I did miss my drag. We have a penny that's gonna try and come down. All right. Well. It's a close match, and that Rico did not die. Jeez, dude. Are you serious? I thought I was out of range. What is this? I can just get close to the Rico. There we go. Man. Well, it's not as close anymore, but that was that was a little frustrating. Got Chloe doing weird stuff. iPad about to die. I don't even know what it's at anymore. It says 100%. Yeah, right. When I plug it into my MacBook, it's 100% not at 100%. But we got to 500. A lot of back and forth. The one game where we won and I didn't even get trophies. Ah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. The 500 gene. Shout out to Anthony. Shout out to Sab. So much for the help. We pushed up a ton of trophies today. I think I'm at the highest ever trophies I've ever been. So that is awesome. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of Gene. Let me know some tips of maybe that you guys have played with him. What game modes do you really like? I know I probably all explained this earlier. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. It was a long struggle here. <laughs> that a lot of you didn't see. But we got him. <sighs> and I'll take it. See you guys later.